Paul Stratton, uh, I'm 31 years old, from Aberdeen. I was drinking heavily, yeah, and I just lie in my bed and you go out with the staff. Very, very sad and very sad and uh, upset. Cause it wasn't just me, I was hurting, I was hurting my family and yeah. I didn't want him to see me like that. Yeah. Well, I wasn't, uh, had restrictions where I couldn't be independent and take the bus myself and needed stuff, <laughs> needed stuff everywhere I went and uh, had to be home at a certain time and yeah, it's, yeah, nobody went out with the restrictions on them where you kind of go out and when you need stuff with you all the time, I want to be independent. Uh, I got to the gym. I got to the gym on a Monday and a Wednesday. Uh, got a job. Got a job now at a laundry and volunteer. Eight inch scarf. Got military fitness. Uh, Got the football, uh, got good friends, and yeah. Got the medals at home for, got medals at home for doing the Baker Hughes. I've done the Bankery Beast, uh, the Kilt Walk. Yeah, I just love, just love doing the running. It's just, you feel good after it. It's a lot of hard work, but. <laughs> Just feel good after you've done it. You've achieved, you've achieved something, and uh, I think what made the difference is um, Dad dying, and uh, really gave me the kick I needed to change my life. I knew my dad wouldn't want me drinking, um, drinking or. Needing stuff with staff, uh, yeah. So that uh, really, I wanted to make my dad, I wanted to make my dad proud, and uh, yeah, I know what Dougie says. I kind of thank Sea Change, but they have made a huge, uh, they have made a huge difference, and yeah, because I've said to, him, I said to Mike before he left, I said. I'd like to thank you for all you've done. And Mike was like, no, you've done the hard work. <laughs> but yeah, I'd just like to thank them, all the staff. I got the, I used to have staff, I used to have staff uh, supporting me to go to the gym, but I got the gym, I got the gym myself now. Uh, I got, I catch a bus, to my work, myself. I'm very independent. I go and meet my f my girlfriend and my friends myself on the bus. But before before I wouldn't have been able to do that. Yeah, probably do more runs. Uh, do more runs. Uh, get more flat, <laughs> and uh, hopefully. One of my aims is to do the London Marathon.
couple of years ago, I've been through a bad period in my life. I felt lonely and insulated where I lost my job and I felt like nothing was working for me. I had spent a year in Bracken previously and had been homeless at one point also. Well, Officer Bracken that offered him to go to a residential unit down in England because there was nowhere for him in Aberdeen. And Paul wasn't even asked or consulted. It was me and I stood up and says no way and fought for Paul. And that's where we are today. A care home in England was given as an option to my mum by the care manager ten years ago. Other people making decisions on my life. Yeah, I was found to come and ask this when we decided no. And the thought Paul managed to go into his own flat in Horror Road when he was there for eight years until his dad passed away. And then we decided it wasn't really working because he had a bad time and was drinking and the package that we had for him was no use. So we came back home and from there he's going to help with CJ. Yeah, he's helped. It's changed with the help to see change and they've seen him as a person, he done his own care plan. It was absolutely marvellous. It's given us our life back. After the passing of my father, this was the changing point for me. I wanted to do the things that make my him proud and make me happy. Moving back home and having the family support network around me. My family have really helped me in my times of need. Well, I think Paul's done that himself. So, well done. Thank you. Um, sea change, sea change started supporting me at this point. I really enjoyed that they listened to my likes and interests in life and made these possible. Ten people in a week 
people who do minimum wage and stuff. There's not a lot now. And if it is that these guys are off, there's always a bug up that somebody's known or just out of Paul, and it's just stopped the stress. It's just brilliant. I, I, I'm in Campbell of this, and I love music. I'm playing the drums, especially. So my staff helped me, where we have travel sessions in the Scarf Community Centre, and also of recordings. With Valentine's and Christmas CD with dates and mates, events in a recording studio. The dates and mates events have made a positive impact on my life. Having a structured daily routine to give me a focus. Um, my volunteer work in staff, um, getting the Queen's Award for Voluntaries in the Services was a proud moment. Uh, I work in the laundry with my uncle in Toy. Introduction to a new group of friends by staff. Go to the cinema, uh, wrestling. All of the above have given me a lot more confidence in myself and I've achieved goals I never thought I could. Moving forward to the future, I would like to take part in the London Marathon to continue all the running events that I take part in and keep my fitness up as much as possible. To eventually work full time and not need staff support anymore. To look after my own finances and settle down with someone.